Good morning, YouTubers. I'm going to dive into Codesters this morning. This is between meetups for me with a middle school group where we do Codesters in the classroom setting. And I have an idea for a project, and I just wanted to do a prototype, not the whole project. And so you start a Codesters project just by clicking the plus symbol on a tile. And I've gone over coasters before in my channel, but I'm assuming that some viewers are maybe stumbling on this at random. You wonder what you're looking at. It's a brilliant adaptation of the Python language to JavaScript. What's running is in-browser JavaScript behind the scenes, but what it looks like is that you're coding in Python, which you are. It's a very, it's, I would say, incomplete Python, but on the other hand, it's been fleshed out in ways Python isn't such as it has built-in sensitivity to keyboard events and so on. The kind of thing you would normally need to import uh, libraries for are just built in. So my goal here is to get a few backgrounds and then no matter which arrow key is pressed, sorry if the microphone's making noise here, no matter which arrow key is um, pressed, choose another random background. Now in the future, we're gonna make a game where the keys actually give you more control. But um, here I just wanna test keys linked to background image. Now, just double clicking on any of these, I'm gonna pick a few. You can drag and drop, you can just double click. I'm picking seasons, fall, summer. That's kind of, let's do the moon, let's do some things that aren't just seasons. Okay, so there's summer, winter, spring, fall, moon, city. And each time I'm setting the, um, the stage to that background. Now what I would rather though is have these be functions that I do when I, when I, when I need to. So I'll call this function summer, okay, and it doesn't take any arguments and I'll indent that and so forth. And I'm going to do this for each of my backgrounds. Now, is there an, another better way to do this? Can I streamline the code more? Yes, of course. There's gonna be a future version where we only have one function perhaps. In fact, let's go straight to that. Define, pick, background. Pick, background, and here, we're gonna pick a random background. So we're gonna return and then I'm going to have all my backgrounds in some kind of list, and I'm going to pick a random um, element from there. Now, can I just do that? Can I just pop a random thing? I think I can just pop a random thing, but I don't want to do that. I want to choose a random number between zero, so random integer between zero, and the length of the list, okay? So that's the kind of thing I want to do. And so you can see where I'm going with this, right? Now here's where you need to import something. I'm going to get rid of all that. Here's where you need to say from random import randint. That's going to be your function to uh, generate a random number. And now my backgrounds are just going to be these names that, you know, I've been checking out what are the cool backgrounds. And I just need a list where I actually just have spring, fall, moon, and city. Okay, I've lost a couple seasons. I can always add them back. It's gotten a little bit shorter here. So now it's just up to me to get the key presses to work. And uh, let's do that. Say we go to uh, events, and let's just make the space bar do the, do the work right now. So in the event of hitting the space bar, it's going to pick a background. Pick background. So it's gonna call that function right up there and execute it, these two lines. And it's not gonna return, it's going to uh, pick a background. So I'll say the choice chosen equals, and then I'm going to do, um, what was that uh, sprites stage set background, right? 
I'm doing it from memory now, to chosen. So what's going on here? I'm saying whatever name you choose from this list, and let me define the list way at the top. So there's my list of backgrounds, could be much longer. And anytime I hit the space bar, it's going to run this function called pick background, which is going to choose a random background and then feed it to the set background method of the stage. The stage is the canvas over here on the right, and I'll get my background. So let's run this now and hit the space bar a few times. And where's the, okay, unclose parentheses at line seven. So it's, it's unhappy with this. Um, randint right the random integer function is eating two things it's eating the length of the background which is its own sort of argument and zero so I had a missing parenthesis there very good I'm gonna hit the save button just for fun okay running it nothing appears to have happened but that's okay I haven't set any backgrounds yet I'm gonna hit the space bar space bar space bar Oh, there's a mistake, index out of range. So it's trying to pick list number four or something, but we only go up to, okay, the length is got to be one less. In other words, zero, one, two, three, the highest subscript we want is a three, and yet the length is four. So we want one less um, there. So I've, I've limited the scope of random integer function a little bit more. Save that, run it again, space bar, space bar, space bar. It seems like it's not always doing anything. Is that a keyboard lag? There we go. See, the, key, the cursor is over in the canvas. So sometimes when I hit the space bar, it interprets that as trying to change the code. Let me click on the canvas and now just keep hitting the space bar. Okay, that clears that problem up. And I am just getting, oh, there we went back to up here. It looks like it wants to type the name of the project. So space bar is not the best key to be using. I should change this to arrow keys and so on. But we've made big progress. I'm happy with this project. So I'll save this as exhibit one and maybe even show it in class, who knows. All right. Have a good day, guys. I hope that was interesting to y'all, and um, we'll see you next time.